Dumaguete City is very charming and the gentleness of its people is reflected by the laid-back, less congested, less polluted environment. It won't interest you much if you are after a destination that offers beach and other activities. However, Dumaguete is your gateway to nearby islands and interesting parts of Southern Negros and Cebu. amazing craftsmanship made by the hands of a well-known artist, Susan Canoy, with her advocacy on environmental awareness through art, just like her works that is personally designed with a bottle that is painted called Bote Things, using recycled bottles then reselling it, making it better and displaying it as a decoration that can brighten up the surrounding of your house. Luckily, we saw her painting beside her shop, but unfortunately, we were not able to interview her. But on the looks of it, she accepts commissions ranging from 3,000 pesos and above. Depends on what the deal is. If you want crafts personally made by her, just visit her shop called Arts Workshop in Marketplace, Kalindagan, Dumaguete City. So next stop is Subida. Subida, a tourist stopover, Korea shop and manufacturer of the Philippine crafts, local craftsmen and artisans comprise the social enterprise of the Subida. Local products manufactured and produced by local artisans of Negros Oriental and nearby islands. Subida offers a variety of artworks and products which consist of wooden and recycled materials that are formed into magnificent products like toys, souvenirs, and many more. We were lucky to interview the owner of the store, Furthermore, he will tell you about Subida. My name is Michael Angelo Alano. I am a social entrepreneur. We handle Subida souvenirs. And, uh, what you see here are crafts that are made in Negros Oriental that are handmade and are uh, what you call mga, ano, mga locally crafted work crafts. Next. Do you think the Magate is a place filled with art? Yeah, everywhere is enough to art, depending on how you how you look at art. Uh, right now, uh, if, the Mag if you say the Magate, my wife is a visual artist, and I'm surrounded with friends who are also visual artists, so I can say yes. We're surrounded with enough art. Since when did you start making art? Uh, we start uh, technically the the shop is my wife's. Uh, under my life. I'm the first employee who does not get paid. Anyway, uh, she's been uh, making, uh, you know, doing art since she was six years old. So she won uh, Bully Lit Awards, art. she won Philippine uh, Art Awards. And then at age 37, I'm 42 now, she like, influenced me to do something that she's also doing. That's why we do this too. 
the traditional toys. Because I'm, I am you know, the reason why I play this is I want to remain with my child. And I want to share it to the young people. Thank you. Is it? Thank you. So in a way, practical art applying knowledge yeah. into practice. <laughs> That's what practical art is for me. Um, do you think the Magadha is place filled with art? The As a small city, we you know acknowledge each other as local artists, and we get to showcase a lot of our art in Subida, stuff like that, or even here in Salomon University. Next stop, Public Market. Public Market is known to be the most best place here in Dumaguete City. In this place, you could experience the vibrant life of each Dumaguetanos. A busting hive of fishermen, families, locals, and tourists. The public market is where many sections of Dumaguete population come together. People from Dumaguete come here together often early in the morning to shop and eat breakfast. And during afternoons, they trade stories and enjoy each other's presence. In this, there's always something to eat and something interesting to see. As we went there, we saw a bunch of sellers who sell products that are made by different kinds of wooden materials. When we asked them who made this craft, they told us that the artists who made this are from the rural areas of Yuhulman. Unfortunately, we weren't able to visit Yuhulman due to us being minors. We might encounter the dangers of NPAs lurking around. However, you can still be able to buy their products made by their Yuhulman local artists. <laughs> 